the fireball erupts, the hedge trimmer takes the full brunt of the explosion and is sent cartwheeling across the tarmac. Three, two, one! In a furious fury of flame, the petrol engulfs our cameras, furiously. Shh, quiet please, as Cathy gets ready to rumble. <laughs> Boom! What a blast! Cathy's made mince meat of her two-piece suite. It may be safe to handle, but add a detonator and dynamite has the firepower to do maximum damage. The nitroglycerin blast really knocking the stuffing out of those old chairs. Three, two, one. Did you hear that, John? or try nitro toluene as it's known by boffins is the perfect cocktail of toluene and nitric and sulfuric acids it's loved by wily cartoon characters and just looking at the beautiful final moments of richard's photocopier you can see why well done richard that's one photocopier that's definitely out of paper three two one Sweet devastation! The water-based bomb dispatched smithereens hither and yon, sending the mannequin flying to the ground. <laughs> Generating a glass-melting heat of 2,000 degrees and a sexy, satisfying bright orange flame. Great stuff. Hope you like your potato snacks flame grilled. Thanks, Brainiac. One blast will spread the powder and a second ignite it. Here goes. Three, two, one, explosion! The coffee companion engulfs our towers, leaving nothing behind but creamy fallout and the faint smell of toffee. In slow motion, we could see the mixture of creamer and air explode violently in a massive ball of flame measuring a whopping 19 metres across. As the overloaded carousel grinds to a halt, the microwave energy makes the candles flicker, sending hot wax dripping towards the plastic explosive. It's a domestic white goods time bomb and eventually... a trifle catastrophe! We do these recipes so you don't have to. Do not try this at home. Our motto is safety first. Radiac second! There's just a moment for Abigail to say a private farewell. And up she goes! Magnificent! Good work, Abigail. That was quite a bang, love. Back last century, Czech boffins stirred pentrite and cyclotrimethylene trinitramine together in a scientific pot. And this was what happened. Semtex, malleable, plastic, easy to transport, and as we see here today, an efficient way of dealing with unwanted gifts. Under normal conditions, this ice would take 12 hours to melt, but this is thermite. Not only does the thermite burn through the ice, it actually makes it explode. This is because the heat from the thermite breaks the water molecules in the ice apart, turning them into hydrogen and oxygen gas. The hydrogen and oxygen gas then ignite and explode, turning back into water and blowing the block of ice apart in the process. Mix gun cotton with nitroglycerin and wood pulp, and you'll get gel ignite. Famously used by safe crackers, now put to more benign use to send wicked ceramic goblins and their trademark garden pot hurtling back to Fairyland. The 
fuse triggers the irreversible thermite reaction. As scorching hot meets freezing cold, a fierce battle rages. The smoke clears, and incredibly, nothing remains. The reaction begins. A concentrated eruption of molten metal lays siege to the safe's outer skin. The white-hot thermite eats its way through the safe's two inches of steel protection before flooding inside and blowing open the doors in an outrush of superheated air. All it takes is the tiniest spark to ignite, and it's bye-bye two-man tent. The volatile fuel evaporates, filling the cramped canvas space right to the brim with explosive vapour. It's all annihilated in a fireball inferno. Right, here we go, this is it. If we're ready, three, two, one, lift off. Well, um, there was a lot of noise. Um, I don't know the speed's gonna be that good and the, the key problem here is it, it didn't make it to the end. It's also made quite a mess. When the machine is switched on, water flows into the drum and straight on to the potassium. With no means of escape, the reaction is explosive. An organic peroxide with a distinctive acrid smell. Acetone peroxide is known colloquially as the mother of Satan. Whether this chemical compound gave birth to the horned one, we may never know. Perhaps the cuckoo can ask the devil in person, as this popular explosive sends the clockwork bird on a flame-grilled journey to hell. Hey, pesto! Ignites the hydrogen. With the six cakes arranged evenly around the explosive mix of flour and bomb, it's time to retreat to a safe distance. Three, two, one, blow it! There's just time for Jamie to prepare himself. And there she blows! What a blast! Good work, Jamie! Everyone loved that one! The milk float is ready for its final delivery. The listening devices are calibrated. We're all set. Three, two, one, jocks away! Ready? Three, two, one, hit! Ooh. Thermite pours off the armour plating, but is it going through or just around? It's impossible to tell. As the mixture cools, the lumps of solidifying iron are a dead giveaway that the impossible has happened. Thermite has lost. The molten thermite mixture pours onto the titanium at 2,500 degrees. The surface lights up white hot as battle rages. But the up to now all conquering thermite has been stopped in its tracks. So there you go, James. Thermite, the destroyer of all things, has finally failed. Oh well, all hail titanium, officially the hardest metal in the world. The slow fizzing wire meets the faster igniting cord and sends a popping shower of smoke and flame towards the bomb laden car. They join as planned and it sends the spark of ignition to the waiting motor. And up it goes. And when it snaps, the anvil lands on the waiting detonator. The car pops, and off goes Diana into her favourite song. What a way to say goodbye, the mistress of Motown and the very best in exploding motors. She's banged up all of our old bangers, so now it's back to the stage career. Bye bye, die. Parsnips, ten for a pound! Yes! Good work, Emily. Everyone loved that one. And the heat generated will ignite the combustible petrol it's swimming in. 
like that. It's Knickerbocker Glorious. Blast off! That really is a hot hatch. The incredible thrust of those rockets combined with the car's aerodynamic styling means our vehicle is now in the perfect position for us to change that tire. It's a domestic white goods time bomb, and eventually, you can kiss goodbye to that one. Four, four three, two, one, bingo! Hammer of the Gods! Bye, Collie. That was something. What was that noise in the kitchen, Margaret? OK. I'm ready, Vic! Who cares? Here we go. Three, two, one... Obliteration is more or less instantaneous. One moment a toaster, the next a shower of sparks and flying plastic. Warning enough, if you should need it, do not put dynamite or indeed any explosive material inside your toaster. Oh, and yeah, do not try this at home. Blast off! Rockets launched the car clean off the ground, landing in a shower of broken metal and twisted glass. It's done. Don't forget to make sure it's cooked properly. An uncooked chicken can cause illness and even unwanted death. See now. Ignition. Liquid oxygen make hamburger burn so ferocious that kaplowy it explode like Elvis Presley waistline in 1975. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off! Outstanding!